Let's look at the madness that were the <laughs> Europa League qualifiers the second round yesterday. When I told you in my preview that I will only look at 16 games, yeah, I had to extend this by two more. Probably could have done them by more. There were quite some remarkable events happening. And the sad story is that most people though didn't see they only saw what's happening uh, from the team from their country and unless you look a little bit uh, over other things you would have missed great great stuff jerseys back there yes Sevilla is hanging on the number one position uh, because they're defending uh, champions despite playing in the champions league uh, but then the others are sorted at least on the wall behind me by the ranking in the by the bookies. So Arsenal and Spurs are co-favorites at the moment with Milan shortly uh, behind and Napoli, Leicester, Villarreal, which I don't have, Roma, Leverkusen, Real Sociedad, uh, Wolfsburg, Hoffenheim, Lille. These are kind of the top seats there. On this wall I decided to pull out a few of uh, previous winners Go figure. I am wearing since Milan played yesterday in the Europa League and whenever you need to talk European stuff uh, for Milan, you need to put on the white shirt, of course, of course. Naturally, they didn't play in white yesterday at Chamber Groves, but in a teal tone that we'll talk about. Um, let's look at the results. Uh, there was also a draw today, uh, which I honestly, I was spent so much time uh, creating these results and with the crests. I don't know why I, why I did it, but you know, I'm a perfectionist that I actually almost missed the draw. I only know uh, who my favorite teams may be playing if they move further, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. I think it is, it's a jungle any, any, anyway. So, uh, Willem Dwe, Granada had no trouble. Then we are already at the first uh, rather crazy match it has to be said which was Ararat against Fola Ash and you know whenever you see a seven goal game even if it was with um, uh, overtime you gotta look look at it and this one in addition had also two red cards so very interesting Ararat uh, took a lead that was immediately e equalized by Fola and then Ararat went the man down a penalty for I can uh, equalize uh, may make it to two they even make it three two however uh, they also get a, ye a yellow red penalty foul and it is um, uh, it is am I missing here something it was three one four for four and then in a penalty in stoppage time and then another penalty Avara gets two penalties in stoppage time to make it three three that that was a remarkable re result and then they win it in the 113th madness this match absolute madness and i think if you're from uh fola you probably will not feel all that happy about that result uh rangers had no problems with uh the red imps Göteborg had a Long had a, a, lead, a lead late. I should say a long lead. I think they got the they got their uh, lead. Let me pull it up quickly. Uh, in the seventy third third minute and looked well on the way, but then uh, in the last ten minutes, uh, Copenhagen turned this match around to uh, win it. Similar to what Spurs did. Ah, uh, that one was a great. That one was absolutely a crazy match. I uh, have to find it uh, here. Here, here the results because in the 71st minute, uh, minute Lok Ploftiv take a lead. Uh, I cannot tell you whether it was deserved or not. I only can tell you that uh, uh, Spurs played with a nice yellow uh, jerseys. And yes, Premier League jersey review coming up. I think you will get the first one over the weekend. And I can tell you the yellow Spurs jerseys are probably the best ones right there. That's little spoiler alert. Um, but then everything breaks for uh, Ploftiv. First, um, handling of the ball by Almeida and um, on, the, uh, on the line in the 78th minute. And uh, Karageren gets sent off with a yellow red for Unsportsman Iconic. I would assume protesting something. Hurricane, penalty, 80th, it's 1 1. And then with a very messy golden dumbbell in the 85th, turns it around and saves. Uh, spurs some trouble. Gareth Bale ante portas there. Um, Nefci against Galatasaray is a 3-1 win for the Turks. Uh, 
ZSK Sofia, at least one Bulgarian team, can move on uh, against Bate and then uh, Rio Ave, since we're talking about Port uh, Portuguese teams as well, on my channel, uh, beats Borat Spania Luka. Wolfsburg, no problem with uh, Kukeshi from Albania. Hartberg, Austrian team, uh, twice e equalized in their premier in the um, Europa League or any Euro Euro European condition, but Klivice, you know, naive defending. They take three times to lead. Hartberg cannot come back. Although I think, uh, especially the second goal by Hartberg was quite remarkable from an acute angle in there. Milan against Shamrock Rose. I was, uh, how to say, um, reasonably worried about that. I knew Milan had the better team. Everything was calm when uh, Ibrahim which scored in the 23rd. John Noglu in the 67th makes it 2-0. Uh, I knew. That's that. Uh, Tonali made his debut coming off of Benazir. Also, uh, Brahim Diaz did that. So, yeah, it's nothing big to talk about. But at this stage, you just need to move on. And I think Milan is definitely the biggest name in this qualification uh, round. And uh, as we'll see, uh, the next round might be man manageable, but then, uh, yeah, should be manageable too going further. Um, Aberdeen 2 0 at Viking Stavanger. That was there. And then Dunas Castreda against Diablones. That's the, uh, the winner was the opponent for Lusk. Uh, Streda took a very, very early lead. Uh, and I have to find that one too. Took a very early lead. The Diablones equalized. Um, a little bit la later, I think Diablones took even a 2-1 lead early in the second half. Uh, the Divkovic could equalize. So he made already two goals. Then a penalty puts Diablones again in the lead in the, in the 71st but in the 85th, an equalizer for Streda. And in, uh, in overtime, Streda, the home team, gets two more goals in the 96th and the 114th. 5-3 win. Another one of those crazy results. And that's not the craziest game. The way Fall Ash was crazier. This one, yeah, there was some back and forth with uh, Jablis twice thinking they had it. Streda going through. Basel 2-1 at Osijek. Stade Reims beat Servet and then I think this game I would have loved to watch. This was surely the absolute nuttest game. And just if you look at the pure stats, I have not seen any highlight. This must have been the nuttest game ever. Bačka Topola, uh, TSC from Serbia against uh, FCSB. What should be Stauer Bukarest, but in our naming battles, I don't want to go too much in there. Within 40 minutes, TSC was. 2 nil up. Stauer, I call him Stauer now, puts one back. And then in the 44th, the first red card for Bacca. Uh Doppola or TSC. Let's call it, call, it, call, it, call it TSC. They go a man down. So slight advantage for uh, Stauer in that one, who duly equalized in the 50th. However, with a man less a minute later, TSC takes another lead, 3-2. 63rd, penalty for Stauer. It is 3-3. Uh, and then an own goal by, uh, by uh, Balas uh, makes it 4-3 in the 93rd minute for Stauer. A minute later, Tomanovic equalizes. This game ends 4-4. Must have been an absolute roller coaster with uh, TSC always trying to hang on. Then they are going behind. You think you've lost it. Then you get with a man less. No, 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 nonetheless, you get... Uh, the equalizer, you go into overtime. However, overtime doesn't start well for you. Because in one third, another player of yours is sent off. You're two men down. There was another team that did something like, like, like that. Um, and again, Stauer takes a 5-4 lead in the 105th. A minute later, they again equalize in uh, uh, um, TSC. It's 5-5 five, five in the 108th. It gets 6-5 for Stauer and the game at 6-6 six, six with the equalizer with nine men. They equalized twice in stoppage time, uh, in overtime with nine men. This is unbelievable. It goes to penalties and there Stauer finally, finally, finally wins because the third penalty for TC who was going first is missed. Absolute madness this game. I, would, I, I will have to look for highlights because this might have been one of the craziest games ever played. And this is a one-legged tie. This is where maybe the one-legged ties, it's one-legged tie madness. There are at least three games in there that were absolute madness. 
Malmö's 2 0 win at uh, Hanvet was not madness. So, madness is also the schedule. I am gonna go the first three are uh, all from the league path. And again, this is now how they were numbered and they were drawn. And I have tentative kickoff times. I don't know how uh, reliable these are. I would say every, every everything is not an a 20 zero, so eight o'clock evening kick kickoff. I would say is probably more re more reasonable. I'm not so sure about one of the seven ones either. But um, let's look here. Uh, Mura from Slovenia against PSV uh, is one. Then of course. Uh, I told you last will play the winner against Sporting and of Ab and Ab Ab Aberdeen, so I am looking forward to that one. Uh, there's a black and white duel with Charleroi Partizan. Uh, Wolfsburg plays against Desna from um, Ukraine. Fehava against Stad de Reims is, I think, is a potential sleeper. Uh, Rijeka, Croatia against Kolos from uh, Ukraine. Let's move further. I think a, a really interesting one is San Garin against Aik. I know already confirmed last school played Duna as Castreda at 8.30 and the referee is the uh, one that uh, did PSG against um, Marseille. I'm terrified. And uh, I looked up his stats. He has so many red cards given already in his career and penalties. I'm terrified. Uh, I think I'm more ter 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 terrified of uh, him than of Dunas Castreda or the potentially playing Sporting against. Milan against Bodo Klimt at home should not be a problem. Spurs going to another Macedonia, Skandia, should also not be a problem. I think it's probably an easier opponent than was Lok Plovdiv, but who knows, it was labored. That's for sure. <laughs> but, you know, a rather tough road ahead. Dej against Vojvodina, I think it should be nice. Willem Dwey against Rangers sounds interesting. For sure. Then the last one, I have Stauer against Liberec. I don't have anything there. Um, here, Besiktas against Rio Ave. Uh, that's the winner will play um, at home to Milan or Bodo Glimt uh, in, the, in the next round. So both Milan should beat relatively easy, but you never know. Uh, Co uh, Copenhagen could have played Hartberg from Austria. Was not to be. Galatasaray against Hajduk. I think that's a big one. Uh, both are big teams in their respective countries. It's just that all those smaller countries that were big and when the so Soviet block was on, I just fall for fall, falling away. That's what hurts me a little bit there. Uh, I also thought that CSKA uh, Sofia against Torsham, you get rewarded uh, by beating Bate. So uh, that's also a good draw for them. And then here is the champions part. These are all champions that were in the Champions League and now have been eliminated. I think the biggest name in there is Celtic. Playing away to Riga, you should make this. You definitely should, should, should make it. And now surprised that, that there's another European Cup winner in there. It's the number Tbilisi. I think they won the Cup Winners Cup in 83, I want to say, something, something, something like that. So that's another big name. They go uh, to the Faroe Islands, who have two in this competition still. Finland has all, all, only one, which is uh, Kupes, uh, who play um, Suduva from Lithuania. I just leave it up there. It's madness what's going on there. Anyway, as I said, I have not really digested the draw. We, I might do this at a later point. I think probably, probably in, in, in a week from now. Same with the kickoff times. Please check your local listings, uh, what gets updated. Uh, don't take this as the written word. Anyway, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you watched any, any games. I barely watched anything. I actually watched League uh, because I couldn't and the hardback game was not that interesting to me. I gotta be honest with that, but I saw some highlights from that one. But I was really amazed by some of the results that they had that were being. In any way, um, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. That. I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.